Happy spring, everybody. This is the day after spring. Um, and I wanted to show you what I have in my greenhouse. So I'll show you what I've winter sowed and some things under my grow light that I brought out today. Uh, the first thing I sowed, I think I showed these already in a video, are my onions. These are yellow onions. I don't remember the variety. Uh, and then I had these little onion bulbs that I thought, oh, I'll try growing those. And some little garlic. The heads of garlic had um, little tiny bulbules on it. And I, I just planted them and they're growing, so I don't know. That was pretty cool. Um, so a lot of failures. I'll show you both, successes and failures. I planted spinach that was a brand new packet. And I think I have two right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's really bright in here. And then lettuce. And it was old lettuce. I've had the packet for a while. Nothing there. I have red onions coming up here, kind of sparse. Um, this is an early prize head lettuce. I think I have five. Five all together. I don't know if you can see that. They're just tiny little things. They took forever. Forever to germinate. And I thought lettuce was quick, but I don't know. So that's that. And then I have delphinium that I planted February 15th in this old donut container. And I've had it out here in the greenhouse the whole time. And there is not a thing. And I started it early on purpose because delphiniums sort of take a while. And I didn't plant any inside and I am regretting that. So I will still plant some inside. And these still may come up. I don't know. That's frustrating because I love delphinium. I have more donut containers over here or takeout containers, whatever. Whatever I had on hand. These are Oriental Poppies Pizzicato. They were planted February 15th. And you can see that they are up. So that was exciting. These are white and purple larkspur. I think it's seeds that I had saved. I'm not actually, I don't actually remember if it was bought seeds or saved seeds. And I just saw there is, oh, I cannot see anything on this camera. There's one and there's one. And then there's another one somewhere over here. Where in the world is it? There in the corner. Where is it? My hand's in the way. Oh, right there I think it is. So I've got three. Possibly more could come up, but boy, it's depressing. When you plant all these things and nothing comes up. Chives. You can't even see that. Chives. And hollyhocks. February 15th. Not a thing going on in there. Rusty foxglove that I bought and collected foxglove seeds that I've had. Same planted on February 15th. Nothing on the collected. I think those seeds are bad because I tried them again uh, last year. They're old seeds, so I, I don't think they're viable anymore. But the new ones that I bought, they have germinated. That's good. And then over here, I planted these trays. Uh, winter sowed them out here. Never had any domes on them. Um, I have to really keep after watering them because they dry out really fast. Because I try to open up uh, the windows and the door if it's a hot, a warmer day and it gets hot in here. To give them ventilation. But then the, the breeze gr blows across and really dries them out. But as long as I keep them watered, we're okay. So I have a ton of vegetables that came up. I'm kind of happy about this. I have Brussels sprouts. Red cabbage, uh, a green cabbage, broccoli, kale, and then two cauliflower. I might have to replant the cauliflower. So, um, and then these I planted hibiscus seeds, I think, in this one. And I didn't mark these. That was a big mistake. And I don't remember. I planted something back here, but I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. I think this one's hibiscus seeds that I collected from my brother's house. And he's going to give me one of his hibiscus plants, which look like they're amazing in the summertime. I haven't seen them in the summertime, but oh, the leftovers were just huge and beautiful, so I can't wait. This is 
um, something I saw on um, a YouTube channel called Japanese Backpackers Express, and they do all these gorgeous gardens in Jap Japan. And um, the one is at a, a seaside park, and it's they plant it with this blue, low-growing flower, and it it's like a rolling hill that blends to the sky. And it, I don't know, it was amazing. I said I have to have some of that, whatever that is, and I figured out what it was. I bought some. It's called Nemophila, or Baby Blue Eyes is the common name. And I think I have one coming there. Right there, I think that's one. Um, but I'm not sure, and I don't know what I did with the rest of the seeds. I'm scared that I left them in a pocket and they got washed. So, I don't know. Um, I have some mini rose... Um, roses I planted in here. Nothing yet. They take a long time to germinate. Uh, lavender Beauty Phlox. Nothing that yet. Chocolate Daisy. Lots of weeds coming up, but nothing. Canterbury Bells in these two. Um, and I don't think... I was hoping they were Canterbury Bells, but I don't know that they are. I'm not really sure. Um, this is Verbascum. I don't see anything in there yet that I think is a verbascum. Forget-me-nots. I have a couple things coming, but I'm not sure if that's what they are, if they're weeds again. Two little things of Bells of Ireland. I know that none of those are up, because I know what their seedlings look like. They're very easy to tell, and they're not up yet, and I don't think they will come up because they're old seeds. Oh, uh, but anyway. And then we have Scabiosa. I got three in there. I might have to replant those. These are Scabiosa that I collected. Nothing happening there. Snapdragons. I think some of these could be snapdragons. But some of them are weeds. Uh, those are night and day snapdragons. These are early orange. Potomac early orange. I think these are snaps. Most of them. This is Madam Butterfly Mix snaps. They're coming up pretty good. They're, they're a new packet. That's probably why. This is um, Snapdragon's Potomac Apple Blossom. I think I have a couple coming up. So that was, uh, those were never covered like a, like these would be, like domed. So, um, this one I just planted out at the beginning of March. Sweet Williams and Salvia, and the Sweet Williams are up. That's exciting. Um, I started a new thing called Didiscus, which is like a purple umble type flower. Um, kind of like a smallish Queen Anne's Lace, if you think of that. They're not up out here, but I do have some from inside that are up. This is English daisies there that did come up, so that's exciting. This was planted with forget-me-nots and sweet peas. The forget-me-nots are not showing any signs of life, but the sweet peas are, so that's exciting. I should have planted more sweet peas, but I never know where to put them. Um, anyway, let's see. Down here we have three different kinds. This was a Colorado bouquet mix that my mom bought for me when she was, her and my dad were um, traveling this past year, and she gave those seeds to me for Christmas. So I don't know what they all are, but I'm pretty sure these here, sorry, I'm not looking. I think these could possibly be, um, oh, what's the name of them now? Candy Tuft. I think they might be Candy Tuft. They look like it. This is Orlea White Finch, which is also called White Lace Flower. Nothing's happening with them, and I love them. Uh, Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate. Nothing happening there. Uh, those seeds never... They were brand new the one year, and they were, they never... I've never had any success, so I don't know. These are three different kinds of cone flower that I believe people gave to me at one time or another, and there's no signs of life in there. These are black swan poppies. Oops, sorry. And they are alive and well. And then I did plant some clematis seeds that I had collected. Um, but I don't see any signs of life on those either. So, who knows. Um, okay, so that's all the stuff that I winter sowed out here in the greenhouse. Now, just today I brought up this tray and this tray of... Um, plants that I started, and would you believe I probably didn't even, 
don't have any labels out here. They're all inside. Uh, this is, I think this is didiscus. So that I planted some in that container that I showed you that they weren't up yet. But these I started inside. This is called blue woodruff. It gets like a purpley blue flower on it. This is tobacco green lime. Um, I think, oh, and I have some um, annual baby's breath. A couple flats of that, a couple little containers or whatever. Um, over here I have basically all the same things I showed you over there. Oh, and these are lavender. My sister gave me um, several seed packets for Christmas and one of them was lavender and I never grew lavender from seed. I don't know why I thought it was hard to grow lavender from seed. But um, I got five to germinate. But this one is, there's something wrong with it, so I don't expect that one to live. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, it's like leggy and weird, and it, it was in the same growing conditions as all the rest of these, so I have no idea why it looks like that. So I thought it was time to bring those out. And the only other different thing over here is this honeywort. Um, boy, these are terrible pictures, sorry. Um... And I feel like this is really tender, but I thought I'll try it out here and see how it does. And then I have lots more inside if I happen to kill these. I hope I don't kill them, but you never know. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I'm growing. Um, I've got lots more down in the basement under my grow lights, and I will show you those another time. We're still working on the steps and the project over in the garden. Um, I'm just waiting to get more footage. We kind of came to a standstill. And, um, I don't want it to be, like, boring. Like, I don't want it to show too many steps. Like, it's nice to see a before and after, and sometimes too many steps makes it kind of boring. And Well, I don't want it to be boring, but... Anyway. So, maybe I'll do another video about the plants I have in the basement. So, alright. Well, thanks for watching. And tune in next time for more baby plants.